In rural India, there is a person who opened a bank. But this bank is not for the top 1% of men. This bank is built for the bottom 1% of women. That's right, a bank that helps poor women when no other bank would. Who is this woman? Why did she open such a bank? And how do you make money from helping the bottom 1%? In this small village in India, I found Chetna. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Chetna. I started the first bank for village women in India. Chetna grew up in Mumbai where she went to college and got a degree. But she noticed that poor women in her country with no degrees worked just as hard as she did. But they never made the same kind of money. And most of them had never even been inside a bank. Why? Because they earned less. So banks refused to help them. It's easy for a rich person to go to the bank and open the account. But poor are rejected. Even if they want to do savings, they don't get an opportunity. Some of these women just wanted a savings account to protect their money even if they were only saving 15 cents at a time. I met this lady who was doing business of blacksmith. She was staying with her family on the street. She wanted to buy a tarpaulin sheet for the shelter, but the banks refused to help her to open the account. So Chetna thought if no one will help these women, she will by opening her own bank for poor women. So she gathered a few village women, made them into a team, and applied for a bank license. And since most of these women could not read or write, Chetna's bank license got rejected. A woman said that we cannot read and write, but we can count. So instead, Chetna taught these poor and educated women about things like interest, capital, and finance for five whole months until they could go back and apply for a license again. And this time, they were prepared. And they said that ask us to calculate the interest of any principal amount without calculator. And they calculated faster than the officer. So our license was approved. And just like that, Chetna opened her first bank for village women in the country. She taught these women how to open accounts, how to save money, and how to build a business. And today, Mandeshi Bank has a mobile banking also. And you know, while we were designing and working on mobile banking, we were talking to our women that you will get ATM card, you will get digital wallet, and you will have a PIN number for that. Our women said, we do not want PIN number. But they said, how about biometric? How about thumb? Why don't we try this solution? And we did it. And when our women opened their digital wallet with the thumb impression, they said, see, anybody can steal my PIN number, but nobody can steal my thumb. You know what lesson I learned from these women? Never give poor solutions to poor people. And after more than 20 years of helping countless women, Chetna's bank became a success because today her bank has more than 170,000 account holders and has loaned over 50 million dollars helping women start businesses such as a mobile repair shop, a paper plate company and also face masks for COVID and of course the bank itself is run by women. While other banks closed their doors on poor women, Chetna's bank opened new doors for them. And if more countries learn from it, we wouldn't have to worry about things like poverty or income inequality. Because banking, finance, and access to capital should be a human right. Hey YouTube, did you love that video? I hope you did because now we are in a 30-day video marathon. Every single day, for 30 days, we are uploading one video from around the world about an interesting person. We are flying to remote countries to hear, to hear, and to hear just to show you interesting story. So please, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Nas Daily, and follow us because tomorrow, there will be another amazing video somewhere from around the world. 
Thank you so much and see you tomorrow.